What's up, guys? So this here is New Dude 167 and today what I got for you is a really nice review, okay? And what I'm going to be reviewing is this right here, which is a solar-powered security camera that runs off of Wi-Fi, guys. Really, really nice. It has a lot of great options. And what I'm going to do, though, guys, is I'm going to show you what it comes with. I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to show you the app and all the different options within there. I'm going to also tell you all the different features as well. So I ain't trying to sell this, guys. I did buy this for personal use at my home for personal use, guys. But if you do want to buy it, though, guys, there's going to be a link in the description or look it up on eBay. I mean, it's $58.99, and that comes with the batteries, everything, guys. All you have to do is hook it up charge it and it's good to go all right but anyway before i get started guys smash that thumbs up button guys smash that thumbs up button and comment let me know what you think about this camera guys this solar power security camera that's run off of wi-fi okay let me know what you think about it if you've had one before tell us the goods and the bads and if it worked out for you or not all right so with all that being said let's get started guys let's get started okay so as you could see it says it's a low power solar Wi-Fi bullet camera. Okay, no electricity required, no wiring. There's two-way voice intercom. Really, really nice. Okay, remote surveillance. Okay, protects privacy, human introduction. All right, a few different options. Really cool, guys, really cool. It's the same thing on that side. Okay, so I'm going to put everything that it came with on the table right here okay because i want you to see what it came with when it comes right out the box okay so as you could see this is everything that it comes with so you have your stand or your base wherever you want to put it it isn't a, a pan and tilt camera but you can move the you can move the base 360 this way or up and down this way so you could put it anywhere remember this is a stationary camera okay you have your antenna all right, you have your hardware to put it on your on your wherever you want to install it. All right, enough of that, guys. This is what we're waiting for, right? This is what we're waiting for. So, guys, if you could see on the top is your solar powered panel, okay? That's your panel on the top. On the back is your antenna for Wi-Fi. Okay, here you go. Here's your actual camera right here. Really cool. All right, and here's your batteries. Check this out though, guys. Check this out. So, as you could see, you have your reset you have your AP, your Wi-Fi, you have your USB port, and then you have your external port, which is supported, or your, your SD card, okay? Up to 64 gigabytes. Really, really nice, guys. Really, really cool. All right, with that being said, though, guys, let me go over a couple different features that this has just really, really quick, okay? So, like I said, it's a solar-powered security camera that runs off of Wi-Fi, guys. It runs off of Wi-Fi. Really nice, guys. Okay, so it charges by solar power. Remember, it has a microphone. It's a two-way audio. Okay, it's motion detection. So anytime it detects motion, it's going to send you an email. It's going to start recording. Okay, it's going to record. It's 1080p. Remember, it also has the IP67. Okay, so that could soak it up into water. You could put it into water up to 30 minutes and it, nothing will happen because it's IP67. Okay, it has your infrared night vision. I already told you, but it, it records and it's a playback video. Okay, and one more thing I did already go over, but you have that external memory of 64 gigabytes, okay? Really, really nice, guys. So, enough of that. What we really want to see and what we really want to watch is the actual video or the actual app uh, as far as the quality, how good it is, how pixelated it is, stuff like that. All right, so let's get to that part. That way I could show you exactly what it looks like when it's hooked up and is in use. Okay, guys, so this is the exact app you're going to want to install from the Google Play Store, okay? It's called iCam Plus, okay? So here's the icon. This is the app name and install this and this is the app you're going to be using on your phone so let's go ahead and open it up okay guys so as you could see this is exactly what it looks like when you first open up the app okay on the top you have your home your home button okay then let's go ahead and go all the way to the bottom okay you have your device cloud video album and me okay so the cloud video if you want to pay for it you can it's just a another way of storing your videos and replaying them later 
but I use mine on an SD card or the external drive and it works exactly the same, okay? Really nice. Then your album, that's everything that's recorded. Every Anytime it sensed motion, okay? So anytime it had sensed motion, it records, okay? And you could set it up for however many seconds you want, okay? There's a few different options. And then there's me, okay? And it does, a, there's a few options in there, all right? But as you could see, there's only one camera, guys. One camera, it's online. So we're gonna hit, you know what? Let's just click on the camera to show you what it looks like, okay? So we're seeing camera number one, which is the only camera I have. I have it thrown in my living room, or I mean in the kitchen right now. Okay, so on the top right, we have our settings. Right underneath that, we have our, our Wi-Fi connection, our battery, and then it's just showing that one user is looking at the cameras right now. All the way to the left is HD and then SD, okay? You could change the... On SD, it isn't as good of... Um, it's kind of pixelated. I wouldn't even say pixelated. It's not high definition, okay? Watch, I'm gonna click, look at it now. I'm gonna hit HD. Okay, when it changes, it's just a lot better graphics. Uh, it's high definition, okay? So remember, guys, this here has a microphone, okay? So when you click on the microphone, you could talk into it, and where whoever is by the camera is gonna be able to hear it. Really cool. Okay, so right here it shows on the, all the way to the left, it shows that the volume. Oh, my bad, guys. I, I hit the wrong button. Okay, so on the left, it has the volume. Okay, it's on or it's off now, so it's on mute, and then it's on. So, so you could hear anything that's going on right now where the camera is. If you have that on, I have it off. Okay, you could take a picture. Okay, it says photo save to album, so it's gonna save that to my album. All right, if you wanna record, you hit it, it's recording, okay, it's recording. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Okay, that also saved to album as well, okay? So check this out, guys. So if you go to the cloud, it's the cloud or the TF, or in other words, your SD card. Okay, so this here are all the different videos, okay? So that video I just took that I pushed record on, it's right there at 807. So you have the previous day, previous day, okay, previous day, okay, really cool guys. So it saves it by day, which is really, really nice, right? Okay, so like I said, on the top left is your HD, on the right it has your Wi-Fi, your full battery, and then one user. Then on the bottom left, okay, it has your volume or your, if you want to hear people, if you want to hear what's going on, then you have your camera, your microphone, then you re could record, and then you could go through the cloud or your SD, wherever you're saving your videos, okay? So, you know what, let's go ahead and go into settings really briefly. Okay, so it says memory card. Okay, let's go ahead and click on that. So, cloud video, total space, available space, okay? You could also format your memory card, okay? Um, I'm not going to do that, okay? You know, I'm going to click that off because it ain't on cloud video. I'm, I'm recording on my SD card, okay? So, you could flip your image, scene mode, okay, detection sensitivity. So, you have off, low, medium, and high. Guys, you don't want that on off because that's detection, your, that's your motion sensitivity. I mean, you want it probably on high or medium depending on how many people pass by stuff like that. Okay, here's your active time. So 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or always. Okay, then you have your power frequency. So power frequency, you could either have it on 50 or 60. 50 uses less battery. Okay, here's your LED indicator on or off. Definitely leave that on. Okay, your device name. Okay, you don't really need to know that. Okay, so there you go, guys. There you go. So let's go ahead and go back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit your cloud to get rid of that. So guys, check that out. Look how good a picture that is, guys. I mean, it cannot get, I mean, it could get better, but I mean, for the most part, remember, this is a $58.99 uh, camera that goes off of Wi-Fi and it's solar powered. Guys, you cannot, I'm telling you, look at that picture. It's really, really good picture. I mean... Right now, I just took it off to show you. I wanted to do a review, so I took it off from my outside 
just to show you all that. Okay, you know what? Check this out, guys. We're going to go to HD. Okay, we're going to go to a couple days before just to show you what it looks like outside in my yard. Okay, so check. let's check it out. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the nighttime. It's not too bad, guys. That's pure dark. I mean, it's dark, dark right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we could get one in the daytime. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so there we are. There's the daytime. It looked like it rained that day. All right, so as you can see, though, guys, it's really, really great quality, guys. Really, really nice, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to live. So this is it right now as we're speaking. All right, but anyway, though, guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit of exactly what it looks like, guys, as far as quality, what it comes with. Remember, it has that voice control, or not voice control, but the the two-way audio. You could talk to them, or it could talk to you. You could hear what's what's going on. If there's somebody outside, you could talk to them. They could talk to you. And it's remotely, guys. You could do it off of this app right here. So when you're at work, out wherever you're at, you could see what's going on at your house. If the motion sensor triggers some and it alarms you, you could see who it is. You could talk to them. Stuff like that, guys. Really, really cool. All right. So would I buy this for $58.99? Okay. So, guys, as of right now, guys, as of right now, I've only had it a week. Not even a week. And as of right now, it's been doing pretty good, guys. The quality, the video quality is really nice. Picture quality is really nice. Man, I, to be honest with you, I'm going to keep it another couple weeks. And if it works really good, if it's, if it's sensing motion like it should and sending snapshots to me, recording it, stuff like that, I will definitely buy these, these cameras to put all the way around my house. And the best part about it, though, guys, is... You don't have to have a power source because they're solar powered, guys. I know on my last cameras, I had to hook power up to them. And it was kind of a pain running electric and stuff like our electrical to them and stuff like that. But guys, this here is solar powered. All you do is hook it up, hook it up to your Wi-Fi or not even hook it up. All you do is hook it up to your Wi-Fi. Okay. And then after it's hooked up to your Wi-Fi, which is so easy, guys, so easy. If you buy one and you have a problem, let me know. I can help you. It's so easy. All right, but anyway, all you do is you pretty much screw it into the to your wherever you need it to go on the bracket, hook or hook it up to Wi-Fi, screw it up to the bracket, or screw your bracket on. And guys, all that's all you have to do. It's solar powered. You just leave it up there and no power source whatsoever because it has the solar power panel on it as as you get it. That's why this is definitely worth $58.99. So to make a really long story short, because I'm starting to ramble on, like I said, I would I'm gonna test it for another week or two, and if it works out good, I'm definitely by far easily 100% buying a couple more, probably like a good two to three more. All right, but anyway, with that being said, though, guys, thank you for watching this video, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video. I know it wasn't too quick, but I just wanted to do a quick video to show you what it is, how it works, the quality, the options, stuff like that just because I hadn't seen one on YouTube yet, okay? All right, but with that being said, though, guys, smash that thumbs up button and comment. Let me know what you think about this video, okay? Let me know what you think about the camera, actually, guys. I mean, because that's the reason why we're here. All right, let me know, good or bad. And then finally, guys, finally, if you're liking this video, subscribe, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs button. Smash that thumbs up button. All right, and then... You know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and end, uh, end this video. But like I said, smash that thumbs up button, comment, and I will definitely see you on the next video.